Yeah, people often ask that. You know, I give a lot of public talks, and there's always somebody who stands up at the beginning and says, okay, they say, well, I've got you now. What happened before the Big Bang? And of course, the answer is, you know, we're, it's not like we have some complete special knowledge and that we're forcing you to believe it. Uh, we're trying to puzzle this out. There is a time uh, over which we really do understand the physics pretty well. And it goes surprisingly far back. That is, if you take a particle accelerator on the surface of the Earth and you smash together protons and antiprotons, you know, under the uh, border of Switzerland and France, uh, and uh, you are creating conditions which uh, are like the ones that existed in the universe very, very early in a very small fraction of a second after the Big Bang. So, uh, I'm not saying we know our way all the way back to the beginning, and there are some mysteries there about exactly um, what happens when the density gets very, very high, and what happens when the distances are um, so small that we really can't predict what is going to happen. So there, there are limits to our current understanding uh, of physics, but they are way back toward the beginning. And uh, there's nothing that says that uh, we won't eventually understand more and more of it. So it's kind of an evasive answer, I know that, but the, uh, the fact is um, uh, this idea that the universe was very dense and very hot uh, at, at this early time uh, is something for which the evidence is very strong, and uh, by pushing our um, current understanding of physics farther and farther back, we're going to understand more and more of it. So it's, it's a real adventure. And that piece of it, we really do have a program to study. The, the, the smashing together of particles uh, in laboratory experiments really is um, creating conditions that were something like uh, what was present back then at the time of the Big Bang and will help us understand uh, the universe on the big scale. So there's this very interesting idea that by looking on the very smallest scale, the smallest, tiniest fraction of a millimeter that you know, we, we can do, we learn about the universe on the very biggest scale, the, the scale of the galaxies and the hundreds of millions, even billions uh, of light years. So the interesting thing, or one interesting thing, is that our, our understanding of the physical world, it's all of a piece. The understanding the, the things on the smallest scale is really how we try to explain what's going on on the biggest scale.